How's it going? I'm Tom from Freedom Vans. Gonna give you a tour of our van called Whistler that we built for a couple out of Seattle. They just came back for a bumper install, which we've done with the rigid lighting and the worn 10,000 pound synthetic winch so they can bump things if they need to. And uh, we're gonna give you a little tour of the inside. Ta da! So this layout's pretty cool. It's very simple, which makes it very useful. It's got a removable bed in the back and a small kitchen galley driver's side with a power storage center slash bench seat here on the passenger side. One of the challenges with the raised beds, which gives you a lot of storage underneath, but one of the challenges is how do you get into the higher bed? So we put in a bench seat right here with a really durable cushion top and underneath the cushions um, pulls off then there's a storage area so this is a removable shelf and underneath the shelf is our power system this is a 400 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battleborn batteries power system and our 2000 watt pure sign inverter this is our battery monitor. This right here indicates the percentage of the capacity of your battery system based on 100%. And since we're using LifePo for batteries, you can use 90% of your batteries. So down to 10% on this little doohickey. And right now we're reading 89.6%. So it's pretty easy to use and read so here we have our kitchen galley. It's relatively simple and simple generally makes things super useful. So we like simple. We are using an AC, which means alternating current powered refrigerator. These are nice because they're really durable, very useful. And one of the things we really like about these fridges is that they don't frost up. So they've got a separate freezer compartment. And if you look inside the freezer, there is no frost and there's also no mold, which is great. So here we have our Dometic glass lid sink. These are nice because when the sink is not in use, you have additional counter space. So you can prep your food here or here. If you need all the space, you can have all the space. And then underneath we've got a folding tab. And then this is actually a hot and cold tab. Super durable, all the connections underneath are heavy duty. Uh, so one of the things we did on this build that's unique is we did all exotic hardwood for the faces of the cabinets. So this and all of these are solid curly maple boards that are about 12 inches wide and they're 100% curly figured hardwood. So the wood looks like it's got a ripple effect in it and it is totally flat, but it looks basically like a little mountain range, almost like a topographical map, which is pretty cool. And then we incorporated that same thing down here into the kitchen galley. We did a little Revishelf sink organizer to really maximize storage space. So you got a place for soap and everything's latched. All these drawers are latched. So you have to give them a little extra effort and then they won't come open. So the wall paneling in this van is somewhat of an industry standard. The interweave tweed fabric and a durable heavy duty wood paneling behind that. And then we've got windows installed and we framed them out. This van was brought to us as a cargo, so it didn't have any windows. So we installed the windows and built the frames. One of the nice things we did in this van also was we put a Bluetooth soundbar and the soundbar is awesome. It pairs up to a sub. This is the Sony HTC 800. It's a later model soundbar and it sounds amazing. I know that's not going to translate into the computer or uh, phone speakers. 
So you're gonna have to experience it for yourself someday when you get a chance. These things sound really great. And then here, we've got this pretty cool thing that we did in this van. We've got our light switches that can turn on and off the lights, but we also have another set of light switches that control this same circuit in the back of the cabinet near the bed. This was a nice feature we added for the clients. Took, took some research on our part, but there's two more switches back here and they can turn on and off the lights as well as the switches in the front of the cabinet. So here in the front of the van, we have our driver's seating area and the Sprinter vans have a lot of stand-up headroom. So we built a storage shelf with an enclosed cabinet over the driver's seats to take advantage of this area. And one of the nice things that we did in this build is we incorporated a smart TV. This is one of the better ways to utilize storage availability for a TV because you don't see it when it's not deployed and then you can simply pop it down and you've got your smart TV. So these seats are aftermarket. They're called the Maybach and they've got dual armrests, which is a major plus in passenger comfort. They've got built-in seat belts and the material was custom chosen by our clients. So a nice thing about this van is in the front with all the seats, you have a nice little dining area. It's a comfy space to hang out with your friends or your family. And this table is removable and actually has a little storage area next to the wall right there. It plops down into a table base, which is in the floor. And it has a aesthetically pleasing black table leg. So it goes with the rest of the van. This is also some curly maple. So the back of every Sprinter van is the heart of the reason you got the van. And this one's no different. We've gone with fully insulated door panels, as well as added some interior lights for the cargo space. We've added shoe organizers to the doors, and these are removable with quick little pins. So you can pop this off. That way when you set up for a shower, you don't shower into your shoe caddy. Here's our water system in this van. It's a 35 gallon fresh water tank and we've incorporated a small area above the tank that's good for storage. It's a tight space, but it works well. Here we keep the shower head. And it's nice because it's just a quick connect. And then it'll come out here on the door. And with our hot water heater, you can have a nice hot shower. We're actually incorporating uh, a home style uh, mixer valve on this van. So you have ease of use and comfort to shower off when you get dirty. So under the bed of this van, we've incorporated storage areas underneath the water system, as well as underneath the water heater enclosure. And we've got an open shelf on the passenger side. That's bird's eye maple trimmed out and it has a ski rack, ski storage right above it. As well as four pieces of L-Track for strapping things down. And then here in the base, we've added some flush mounted recessed L-Track with the Rocky mounts, adjustable fork mounts. These can do a variety of axle sizes, so they're a good option. And these are bolted in with plates that we fabricated. So this is Whistler. It's one of our favorite builds. It's really simple, but really powerful and effective. Really comfortable. One of the nice things about it is the insulation. It's extremely well insulated. Every single piece of the van is insulated. And it's a comfy little space that they can go wherever they want with. Thanks guys for joining me today on this little tour. 
I'm Tom from Freedom Vans, and I love every one of you. Hope you guys have a great day.